so open CST software then click new project then microwave and RF optical then select antenna sections then this will be planner whatever transformer you are going to design that is why you have to choose planner then time domain then click next next then frequency actually my designing is for uh, 0 0.9 gigahertz so that is why here minimum frequency i'm going to take 0 0.5 0 0.5 to 1.5 sorry 0 point 0 point 5 to 1 point 5 then click next now finish it will take few seconds to set up my CST screen then just go to view and I would like to avoid this grid grid view as well as bounding box so that is why I unchecked. Now come to modeling. Then dielectric substrate I am going to design. That is why I, have, I choose here brick. Then press escape. This will be my substrate. So that is why I write here soft. And length. Uh, let's say minus L. Sorry. Minus L underscore substrate by 2 and plus L underscore sub straight by 2 and Y mean minus width underscore substrate by 2 minus and this will become plus double underscore substrate by 2 and z mean is h 0 to h i will choose material that is fr4 substrate fr4 press enter then i'm going to choose lossy one we can load then ok so it will prompt you the variable name because my length of software is equal to 63.84 so this will be 63.84 and width of substrate is equal to 26.35 click ok then height of substrate is 1.2 mm then this will be my substrate that I already designed here now I would like to design 50 ohm line so for that I have to select means synchron means I have to select local coordinate system so that is why I am going to press M then I have to find out here the middle point that is why I double click over here then press W so to <coughs> local coordinate system already activated and now again I have to go to brick then press escape now this is 50 ohm line I am going to design so that is why 50 ohm line 50 ohm line and uh, unit is uh, U U is the length of uh, 50 ohm line, this is 10 mm, so that is why U mean is equal to 0, U max is equal to length underscore 50, that means length of 50 ohm line and width is equal to minus W underscore 50 by 2. and w max is equal to w sorry this will be w w underscore 50 50 by 2 
and this will become cross W plus to 50 by 2 and metal thickness here 0 to Mt and here material I have to choose copper again go to libraries then write C O P P E R copper enter then pure I am going to choose here now to contribute it will ask you give the value of 50 ohm line that is equal to 10 10 mm so press ok which is 2.35 mm press ok metal thickness is equal to 0. Point, uh, 0 sorry 0 3 5 mm press ok then ok now my 50 ohm line already made up and now again I have to transform the coordinate system to my new reference point and that new reference point is this is called length of uh, length of 50 ohm line so L underscore 50 so preview so then it's okay now I'm going to design 70 ohm line so 70 ohm line for quarter wave I already calculated for this uh, quarter wave transformer G equal to 70 ohm line so length is equal to here again 0 minimum U min should be 0 U max should be length L underscore 70 and V max again minus W by W underscore 70 by 2 2 plus W underscore 70 by 2 again 0 to MT metal thickness will be copper then will prompt you the value of L underscore 70 that is equal to 41.84 length of quarter of transformer and width G equal to 1.23 mm then press ok this is my quarter of transformer press ok now what I should do I have to add this strip line so that if I select 70 ohm line press plus then select 50 ohm line then press enter so these two strips already added together and I have to I am going to remove this local coordinate system and right now I have to go to back side of this total substrate and this will be my back side by press 3 I can go to back side of the substrate then press S bring your mouse to this back side of the sub substrate and double click over there this type of pattern will you can see after selection of this face now I have to go to extrude now for ground plane I am going to design ground plane here I have to write down ground and here thickness metal thickness again metal thickness is equal to empty and material is copper then press ok and this I already made up this 50 ohm line quarter of transformer 50 ohm with 70 ohm and this will remain ground plane ok now what I should do I have to select middle point of this line by press M bring the mouse over here the selected point is uh, the middle point is selected again go to back side of the substrate then press S the double click on this metal plane now what I should do I have to add this uh, you know 70 ohm line load line the 70 ohm load line is there I have to select 
blobbed element and this will be parallel RLC and this R is equal to 100 ohm and uh, apply ok ok so now I have to give input in, uh, input uh, source to my quarter of transformer and for that I have to zoom this section select this edge of the ground plane again select of select this edge of ground plane by press S and click on this uh, zoom face right so now come to website port and here I have to just give the respective value of my corresponding upgrade port and again I have to give this one and here my thickness is 3 into H preview ok now designing part is already over and again I have to go to field monitor because I have designed at 0.9 gigahertz so that is why frequency here I have to give 0.9 E field apply H field apply ok now click on ok and again I have to do what start simulation it will take few time to complete I have to wait for that for realize and uh, characterization of this quarter of transformer so now so now simulation completed now let's go to 1D results come to S parameter we have designed for 9 guards but it is we are getting 0.965 yards and in the frequency also we can see E field and H field come to absolute one this will be my electric field distribution in this pattern of transformer and here the H field again can go to means you can select the magnetic field how magnetic field is distributed from my 50 ohm line through quarter of transformer that is 70 ohm line to my load that is 100 ohm that's all thank you